What's up, High and Logical? Happy holidays. I know it's coming around the corner. It is currently negative 13 with a negative 45 wind chill outside and the wind is blowing like crazy, so stay warm. <laughs> I'm sure everybody is honestly feeling this everywhere. So what we're going to talk about today, comprehension, right there, oh, right there in the corner, right over there. <laughs> but obviously there's a lot of stuff that's going to be correlating around this entire subject. There's a lot I'm going to be trying to meld in, so bear with me. But comprehension, what comprehension is, is to understand. To understand is pretty much one of the hardest things that a human being can really try to do. So where I'm going to start off with this first is that comprehension is really about the understanding of a lot of different things. There's an the understanding of yourself, there's an understanding of people, the understanding of how the world works in a certain way too, but I mean that's kind of a little bit more of a tougher thing to kind of grasp around, so we'll get there when we get there. Okay, but first we're going to start with you, comprehending yourself. Comprehending yourself, definitely necessary. It's not something that everybody is really willing to do for the inner work that everybody really wants to do on the inside, but to be able to understand yourself is pretty much one of the hardest things that any human being really has to go to. Most people really don't want to dig up a lot of those old things that they really don't want to try to understand, but hey, if you really want to try to self-reflect, that's something that is definitely necessary for you to try to be able to look at it, reflect on it, and then get it out of the way and move on. Not everybody has made the most delightful decisions for themselves, made the most best things that they have tried to decide on. But, you know, just having a good grasp of understanding it of why and how is pretty much necessary for you to be able to understand of who you are on the inside. Being able to understand yourself is not something that is easy, like I said, but being able to understand who you are is going to make it a lot easier for you to be able to be more comfortable with yourself. Understanding why you do specific things and why you have to, why you talk specific ways. It's all about a basic life lesson of just being able to try to understand it It's not the most easiest because there is no fine line definition about who you are as yourself of being able to try to understand but what you can define it as and Going through some trials and tribulations having to understand certain things about how things went down I mean that's just because it was your personal decision to make sure that you could do it for your own happiness for your own betterment any thing that you really want to label it as is because that's the reason why you did it. You know, understanding of how you talk to people is just something that you kind of got to research, I guess, on your own. You know, most people aren't really willing enough to go through the, the mucky waters and the really dark places of their own mind and their own body to really have to understand things. But you need to, to be able to kind of get that stuff out of the way and be able to reflect on it in a really healthy manner. You know, to understand yourself is us to improve. You're not going to prove all, everything that you've done wrong or what, or all your bad habits, your negative ways of thinking all in one day. It's something that you have to shed off like a snake. To be able to shed off your old skin and become somebody new is not the most easiest thing to do because there's a lot of things you want to hold on to. You know, good like some good memories are okay to hold on to. You know, the ha the happiness moments, the the really good ooey gooey stuff feelings that you know that you don't really want to let go of I mean that's okay to not let go of, but you can't have that stuff hold you it's gonna hold you down to a chain it's gonna hold you down just to make sure that you're not gonna be moving forward in a good way but if there are at least it's good things to kind of like look back on and be like I was happy about that then that's okay there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with being able to have to understand what makes you happy you know understand of what makes you happy is the most best way that you can really do to go really go about anything why I understand why I like doing YouTube, for example, is because I love doing it. It makes me feel really good just to be able to kind of like vent a little bit, but also to kind of share some wisdom and knowledge with other people. Some people might not consider it that way, but hey, who are they to decide about how they understand things? Because this is my understanding, not your understanding. Understand of yourself just is this the best thing that you can really do for yourself. I've said that like three to four times, but hey, I kind of make sure that I embed it in your thick-headed skulls, so... So we're going to move on because, you know, the, the understanding of yourself is something that most people really need to go for by themselves. It's not really something that other people can really kind of give you advice on. Most people can give you advice, but it's always your decision to make sure that you can do that. But we're moving on. So the under, comprehending with understanding for others, that's a whole completely different story. I mean, it like I, you don't really want to have to kind of be like that person to have to really assume things. But it's always good to assume good things rather than just assume bad things. You're not going to know what other people have gone through in their childhood. You're not going to know what people have gone through to make sure that they can be the person that they are today. 
Some people haven't really changed to the betterment of what they what they are today or what they were before. I mean, it might even be vice versa to where they were better way way better before than they are now. But that's just how people are. You can't control people. Understanding that you can't control people for their actions and how they say things and how they do things because that it's not your life. Most people really know that, but you know, just coming to an understanding. <laughs> But then having to kind of understand how people talk, too, is the same way about how you talk to your, how you also talk. Having to understand that people are not going to talk the same way. People are not going to understand the same things as you are. You know, because, you know, how you understand yourself and how you understand others are the same but different. They they're always go hand in hand with a lot of things. And, you know, like understanding about how people can kind of just, like, do their own thing and not really have to worry about it. I mean, hey. You know, people run their lives about how they want to run their lives. It's the same way about how communicating is. You know, I already said that, but communicating. Communicating and comprehension kind of go hand in hand. My friend on Snapchat posted this to where communication isn't key, comprehension is key. I posted a TikTok on this too to where they do both go hand in hand. One, It's all part of a, you know, it's one big key. You know, there's multiple things, multiple prongs, multiple ways of how that key is designed, but communication and comprehension are part of that key. It's going to open a lot of doorways. It's going to open a lot of new things and new opportunities. And that's just why it's just really good for you to have to try to understand and communicate healthily so that you're not always just trying to bash into somebody's freaking face and then understand where like, oh, why did that go wrong? You know why that went wrong is because most of the time you're not really coming to understanding it from their point of view. You have to understand from their point of view. Most people don't really want to put themselves in other people's shoes, but if you are trying to understand another person, that's how it's really going to have to go. You're going to have to make sure that you can kind of see from their perspective of why they're feeling about things, why they feel that way, because there's always some deeper thought about why they think or why they talk this way. Or really go on anything. There's always some deeper thing of why people do are or do the things that they are. You know, so that's why that you really have no place of judgment because it is your own way of being able to being able bleh, to decide these things. It's your way. You're gonna have to be able to figure out how you do it on your own. Nobody's gonna be able to teach you except you. And I mean, like, yeah, like pe some people are probably like, oh, why, why are you telling me all this? Then if I already knew this, well, I mean, I don't know. Try to understand from my point of view, I guess. <laughs> okay, but then I guess. Really, I guess that's all it really has to come for for that, too. There's really nothing else I can really span on for that just because that people are people. You have to understand from their point of view, understand from your own point of view, and so on and so forth. And so for understanding how the things that ways work for the final part, there is no answer. There is no answer, I guess, to this specific math problem that we call life unless the answer is 42. Only certain people are going to understand that. But if you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. But understanding about how things works, there is really no fine definition to how we can really understand that. Some things you kind of just have to go with the flow and just understand that some things are the way that they are. And pretty much just kind of leave it at that. You know, why the our society and why the world works like this is just something that's not really in our control. The All we can do is just the best to try to understand, you know, understand of other cultures of where they come from understand of other countries of why they why they think the same things that they do you know it's a really hard thing to grasp it is that's why i said earlier in the video that it's because that this the, the understanding of how the world works is not something that's really easy to understand why other why other people hate other people why other people do like other people but then they're just going to stab them in the back i mean hey it's not something that we can understand this world is pretty dark gritty some pretty shitty stuff sometimes. Those murky waters are not something that we would like to tread in. But, I mean, if you can at least keep your head up and breathe, I, be, I mean, that's the best thing that you can really do. It's the best thing that any of us can really do is just try to be understanding. There's not, there's not really an easy way of saying about how we can all come, come together and come conjoined into the one better world. But, I mean, if we try our best, we try our best to make sure that we can actually just be and just be with the flow, then that's the best thing that we can really do. Because like I said, there really is no answer to why the world works and how it turns. That's why life is just something that you kind of just like, you live, you be in the world. It's not something that you're just supposed to understand indefinitely of why you went through these things, why other people are going through these things. It's because that usually sometimes it's all mentality most of the time, but also it's because that there isn't really a fine definition. There's, it's not. I'm going to keep kind of saying these same things just because that this is a really kind of hard thing to understand because there's only so much understanding that a person can really do. There's only so much that an understanding is a group collective can really do.
but just try to make sure that you can be there in the present, be in the now. That's the only way that you can really best understand things. Some things are definitely going to come forward to you. Some things aren't, and that's okay. That's just the way that life goes, and there's not a specific way that we can really understand of making sure that we can understand it. <laughs> but, I mean, that's why it's just okay just to kind of make sure that you can also keep yourself up. You know, we're too busy trying to keep other people in our own group, trying to make sure that people can understand of why we're feeling things and why the way we are. But, I mean, if they're not going to understand, that's why you feel those things. It's because that you feel it, not because other people feel it. Some people are going to feel the same way that you do. Some people go through the same things, but just in different terms, definitions, so on and so forth, just so that they can at least try to relate. And there's a lot of things that people can relate to. That's why most people are pretty much willing to understand because once they have that little bit that they're like, oh, I get that because I can kind of relate to that a little bit, then most people are going to understand right away. And that's the best thing that they can really do is just to, to be able just to see how it can make the pieces fit and just kind of fill out the rest of their puzzle in their own terms and their own ways about how they want to go about things. But otherwise, besides that, that's pretty much it. You know, just do your best to understand. You know, you got to follow with your heart. Don't follow with your mind because your mind's going to be constantly thinking about all these different things that they're going to be trying, that how you're going to hit that target, how you're going to get to that moment. It's only the only way that you're really going to know is if you follow your heart. You know, your heart is definitely the one that knows and your intuition. Most of the time, our brain is not really wired to kind of go along with our intuition or our first ways of thinking because our, sometimes we'll be going along on our first way of thinking. And then all of a sudden down the road, we're just thinking about how is this gonna, how is it gonna turn out this way? How is it gonna turn out that way? How is anything really gonna turn out the way that, they re that we really want it to? Sorry, I'm talking so fast because I'm really excited. But it's, nobody's really gonna know except you. You are gonna know. Everybody is gonna know in their own terms and their own way of understanding. And that's the best that we can do is just try to be there. Be there for people who care about you. Be there for the people that have held you down. Be there for the people that definitely have seen what you have gone through and they will definitely make sure that they can support you in any way that they can. They're not everybody's gonna be there for you. Not everybody's gonna understand the way that you th think or say or anything else that's like that. And so that's why you can just do the best that you can. You carry on. It's the one best way to be able to make sure that you can keep on living is just to carry on on your own terms. Understand yourself, understand people, and do your best to try to understand how things work in the world. Not everybody has that answer, but some people are going to find it. Some people do have a good answer. They do have good advice to be able to make sure of how they can carry on. And if, people, and if you can understand that to your best ability, hey, that's the best that you can do. But I hope everybody has a great holiday. Make sure to stay warm, especially with these cold-ass days. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this little conversation that we've had about comprehension. Just do your best to understand. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll talk to you guys later.